Marlon Riggs was a filmmaker that constructed visual representations of what it means to be black and queer by giving a voice to black gay men through film. The observational documentary, Tongues Untied, released in 1989, employs a new and original approach to filmmaking styles through its dramatic in-your-face inquiry of a rather taboo subject. By placing a face to narratives of black men with HIV during the 80s, Rick situates this film within a larger social and political conversation that would disturb cinematic norms and spark a national debate around the appropriate constraints of federal funding. Through monologues. We heard about this new club, so a few of us decided to check it out. Got there early, around 10. Figured if it was tired, we could always hit Bella's by midnight. We must have waited in line at least 15 minutes. All the while, the doorman, Miss Attitude Ann, you know the type. Bleach blonde hair, body by Nautilus, mind by Mattel. Miss Bitch is watching us. Ten black men show up and they get paranoid the place is going to tilt. Vogue. Songs. And poetry. His eyes howl at me, coyote separated from the roving pack. Tongues Untied becomes seminal to queer film that would canonize future productions such as Paris is Burning, Brother to Brother, and Pose. Riggs puts emphasis on the intimacy of human interaction and presentation of everyday life experiences without intrusion of the camera or analysis from an omnipotent voice of narration. Riggs also challenges hegemonic notions of cis heteropatriarchy and white supremacy by incorporating biopic scenes Love of his life. In eyes of blue, gray, green. Now that I have shed shades of nigger, boy, for pigments of faggot, queer, gender, blender, blur. Now that I am fairy, freaky, free. Initiate me. Riggs unveils the importance of confronting the constraints of black masculinity and heteronormativity that emerge from politics of silence. Silence is my shield. It crushes. Silence is my cloak. It smothers. Thus, ultimately limiting black sexuality, expression, and creativity. This phenomenon becomes a concept that Bell Hooks theorizes as psychological patriarchy, which operates as a gendered institution that perpetuates itself under performance of black masculinity as a product of white supremacy. Through constituting representations of black gay men, Riggs ultimately reconstructs fixed notions of identity and becomes monumental to the foundation of the contemporary visual representations of black queerness. <laughs>